Hey, what's up, YouTube viewers? Back in the booth with ADZ again. Got my boy Myron in the chair today. About to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to uh, give your client a taper in the back of their head. So go ahead and stay tuned. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, we started with the number one with the grain. Just want to brush the hair down. I'm using my Andy's Masters for this. Turn them on, I'm going to have them closed. And I'm just going to first make my guideline. And you want to keep it real low. As you can see, it's pretty light right here. And on this side as well already. And there was a little hair there. You still want to make your guideline real low. Don't take those sides up. Just make a nice straight line. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight. You just want to ball the area out. I like to clean up the neck right away. And at the end, you'll see I'll go over this in my uh, my outliners as well. And I'll brush that down. And now you see I got my guideline. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my clippers all the way up now. And I'm gonna hit that line. And you want to keep the taper low. You don't want the you don't want the taper to be way up here in the middle of the back of his head. And you want to slowly just start to blend that line out. I like to start high, and I like to move my way down, just until that line is completely gone. And I'm going to keep brushing so I'll see where I'm at. Keep moving down. Remember, the whole goal is to fade that line out, that guideline out that you made at first. And as you can see, it's starting to come together now. And I'm slowly just working my way down. As you can see, my clippers are about halfway shut now. I'm going to move down to that second notch. I'm just going to tap that line. Same thing all the way through. I follow the same techniques. I'm gonna open them all the way back up again. I'm just gonna clean up this area around here a little bit. See, when my clippers are all the way open, they're already uh, added number one, and so that is even with what the top of his head is. This is a good way to end a Caesar haircut. Uh, some clients might want their back uh, squared or rounded, or some of them might want it tapered. So you always wanna check with your client. If you're gonna work it, just clean it up, keep it real clean. Like I say, your ultimate goal is to completely fade out that line that you made. Remember to use your mirror because your eyes may not be able to see that line, but your mirror stay, still might catch it. Then the final step is always the line up. You want to take your outliners. 
as well as in the back is the same thing as you do in the front. You always want to stay on the natural hairline. And this is what's really going to make your taper come together right here. You see how my taper came together right there in the back now? Like I said in the beginning, I like to take my outliners and like to clean it up, go over it one last time. Just hit up the neck area, make sure you get all the hair down there. If you happen to see any spots that you missed after you lined it up, you can always go back and hit those spots up. Make sure you get it perfect. Have no lines in there at all. The better you get your lines out, the cleaner your taper will look. So that's all it is. If you guys got any questions, go ahead. Uh, hit me up in a message. Leave me a comment. Uh, don't forget to rate the videos and subscribe. You guys take it easy. I'm out.